All right, everyone, welcome back to some more Daymare 1998 gameplay. Now, in the last episode, we left it here. We actually found a save point. So these are save points now, instead of the auto saves, which come in the bottom right-hand corner. So what we need to do now, since we got this room, we got like a an ID card off that guy there, who's happily sitting in his chair. But let's head back out here, because this was a secret room in room 10. Now, you may seen in the last, last episode there was like a little cut because I hadn't got a clue where this room was <laughs> but managed to find it so let's head back out we just need to go back to the start of this map and see the doctor right, we still need to find like a, a padlock cutter for that normally in some games you would just shoot the padlocks wouldn't you but obviously this one you don't wonder if all these are going to come up so we've searched all the rooms as much as we can so let's just head back here oh god oh hello oh gone on here oh oh I wasted a butter that wasn't even real Seemed real. Yeah, if you're liking this so far, or if you watched the other episodes, then remember to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment as well. Let me know you're enjoying them. Been like a little gem this game. When the first one came out, well, the second one, the prequel, oh, should I say, the Sandcastle, which I've done a full work, gameplay walkthrough on it. Well played. I wasn't quite sure you'd make it. Yeah, thanks for the vote of confidence. Now let me in. I simply can't waste such a talent. I have another task for you. What the fuck, man? Listen, I ain't parading around your hospital risking my damn life chopping corpses for you. I see. But didn't you say you came here to collect something from my latest patient? Now that doesn't leave you much of a choice, does it? So let's cut the chatter and get back to the task at hand. First, you do something for me. Then I do something for you. Doc, I hope for your sake that son of a bitch is really in there. Because if he ain't, and you're riding me like a donkey, I'm going to tear you a new one. As tempting as that sounds, I'm afraid you'll just have to trust me, Mr. Walker. Let me assure you, however, that I am a man of my word. <laughs> so what in the fuck should I do this time? I want you to take this key. You can use it to access the lower levels of the building. There you'll find a door that looks surprisingly similar to the one your device unlocked. By now you should have a clear idea how it works. Once inside, I'll explain the rest by radio. Have a nice walk, Mr. Walker. <laughs> so we need to go underground. Elevator key, right? We know where that is. This is through this door Straight in front of us This elevator right there I think the hardest thing about this game is trying to get bullets, but I think we've got quite a, a few bullets now But if we did have unlimited ammo on the shotgun That'll make the game a lot easier. Shotgun's class. Oh, bang. Got quite a few bullets for it. Okay, anything around here? Nope. Quite a lot of people in here, though. Are you going to come alive? See, in theory, you would just crawl under there, can't you? But I can't physically run past this guy because he'll just grab me that's the annoyingest thing about this game there you go see what I mean there, there's a perfect example perfect example as soon as you get close they'll just do like a kamikaze run at you and grab you fortunately we can't really do anything about that 
Don't know what was going on there with the graphical glitch. Is anything through this door here? Right, okay. Let's search all this first. I do want some bullets. Because you would have thought all these dead people on the floor would come alive. I've played that many Resident Evil games. Uh, there's nothing around here, is there? Oh, what's that? Nice. We'll have you. Like, for medical packs to get your health up, it's sort of in stimulants, and you have, like, different ones where it gives you increased resistance and stuff. There's hardly been no medipacks. Oh, we've got a, a cable there. An override cable. So they're like a one-time use them. But in the, the new one, the 1994 Sandcastle Dame, you actually use your your wristband. Oh, here we go. Right, I'm not going to shoot anyone in here. And where's bullets? What's happening now? Oh, God. Another strange transition, right? I can hear someone. You. Three bullets to the head is all it takes. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> oh god. I actually didn't see him there. I missed. Oh my god, has he got me again? Come on. Now oh, he's dead. We just gotta be careful with bullets. Hang on, can we open this? We can. Oh, it's a lock. Um. Wrong. Try this one. Six, seven. There we go. Open this. What's that? Metal fluid. Okay. Can we open this door? We can. Washing room. That. Tip guard. An audio log. Oh, what's this? I oh, would need a valve. So I guess we're going to come back here and find a valve. I remember that. Right at the start. Over here. You need to check every corner because it'll just put a zombie there. Oh, hang on. Aha! Now you're probably thinking, how did you know that was there? Because did you hear like the little siren noise? This is what makes the. Uh, like there's a secret room next to it. All right, what's this? Doc, I'm here. It looks like an archive of some sort. Precisely, Mr. Walker. Keep the chatter to a minimum, though. This time you won't have to shred corpses. Just park your tush in that chair by the PC and initiate the archive self-destruction sequence. The process should be rather simplistic. That is all. What's this? Emergency. Um. Don't really know. Three of four. What? Oh, forty four. What made forty four there? Oh, we need to get him the same. So thirty-nine sixty-seven. There we go, fifty-three and fifty-three. So we need to get the same amounts on this side here. Uh, so, so one hundred and five. Board accepted. Get back to the doctor. I don't think it was going to be that easy, was it? How do I get out? I 
I want to know what's over here first. Dead end. I, this won't work, will it? Wait. We need a key. Where'd you put the key in there? There's no keyhole. <laughs> Quite a few cameras around. Don't know if it's going to make that noise. No, it hasn't. That was actually lucky, that. Oh, shit. Oh, that was the... Oh, hello. Oh, he's fake. There's going to be someone around here, isn't there? No. How many bullets have I got left? Oh, I've got quite a few handgun bullets. I've got a feeling it's going to be like a big boss. We haven't really had a fight with a boss yet. What on earth is that? Uh, shotgun time, maybe? Defeat the melted man. Where is he? Oh, he's shotting stuff at us. Come on then, Mr. Melted Man. I do have different types of bullets for these. I don't know what these ones are going to do. Come on then. Um. <laughs> Fair enough. That was pretty straightforward. Yeah, them bullets seemed a bit wicked. There was no like blood splatter when we were shooting him. I'm not complaining, he's dead now, let's just get in the elevator. Come on, press that one, thank you. You gotta be careful, because you just have like random spawns coming out. I have read on Steam that the devs ditched this game hey, and didn't Doc, fix bugs, but I don't know what bugs they're on about because it ran pretty right, smoothly so Mr. far. Walker, welcome back. You have indeed proven yourself reliable. I must admit, I couldn't have done it better myself. Listen, man, I almost died covering up the shit you people have got hidden in here. The shit you're a part of, Doc. I thought your job was to save lives, not destroy them. Do not presume to lecture me, Mr. Walker. I will not be scolded by the likes of you at a time like this. It boils down to business, money, and power. All of which the company has more of than you can begin to fathom. But I'm still useful to them. They'll come for me eventually. They'll come for me because I too am reliable. And that is exactly why you and I have one last task to complete. Ah, oh, fuck you, man! Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Well, huh, I can't get fooled again. I'm done! Just shut it and listen. An acquaintance of mine, Dr. Kimball, went missing and out of radio contact while carrying out an important job. He did, however, re-establish the signal just a few minutes ago. From what little I gathered, we've only got a few minutes to save his life. And who better than reliable you to rush to his aid, hmm? Complete this one final task for me, and I will gladly throw open this door and invite you to inside. Let me reassure you, Mr. Walker, that I am a man of my oh, word. fucking hell. All right. But that's it. If you don't open the door next time, I'm gonna find a way in there. And you ain't gonna like it. That won't be necessary, Mr. Walker. Dr. Kimball seems to have locked himself in the east wing of the facility. But I'm not sure how long he'll be safe there. So please, rescue him as quickly as possible. Good luck. This is one the hospital guard seems to have shot him. Okay, we've got a key there. Closet key. Oh, 
Okay. Do we have to go back? Where is it? Right, I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to head up. And see if the maternity ward is actually up in the air. What I mean by up in the air is like a bit further up. There's some stairs around here somewhere. Because we came down, didn't we? Go through there, what's this? That's a laboratory, I can hear someone. Clearly in here. I did that, whatever. Just die. Three bullets is all it takes. Which will do us nicely. Floor one. Intensive care maternity. So what floor is this? That says floor two. Let's have a look at the map. This map is, it's not really that good. Some locked doors here. Was it key used? Oh well, I'll have that. Ah, we've got the uh, brick a bar thing. <gasps> Some bullets. So I'm going to the garden now. Excellent. Open you. But I could hear someone then. There's three zombies here. We just use a shotgun. Really? So we missed the first one, got the second one. Makes sense. Just die. Like, I wish I could just dodge them pretty straight, straight on. Let's search this. I searched you. Right. What we're going to do is head back down, go in the garden, because clearly the maternity ward is on this floor somewhere. And then we're going to use the valves. I think we might get a valve in the garden. Someone over there. Why are you still alive? See what I mean? You, we can't dodge. Very straightforward dodging, but clearly this game doesn't want you to dodge. Going here. Running around in bloody circles. Uh, go through here. The annoying thing about it, it's got the maternity sign there in floor one. But we've searched every single room on this floor and we there is no maternity ward. <laughs> So we'll head back and put this chain off the gate. I'm surprised that I didn't actually go in that room before, but then yet again we used a closet key, didn't we? Unless I'm totally missing the key objectives when there's dialogue. So this is my guess. We're going to go in here, we're going to find a valve. And then we're going to go back in the basement and then use the valve and then that's going to open something. Pincers used. Got to be something in here. Some bullets. Oh, he's got the handgun there. Oh, nice. Magnum. don't really want to use a magnum. I thought the... Oh, is that... There's a valve there. Infantry full. Use one of them then. Oh god. 
Okay. What's this? Personal code marked on the back of the numbers are 434. So that's for a locker. How do we get in? Well, them are there. I don't want to use bullets on these, to be fair. Infantry full. I don't know what that is. Come on then, get these in here. And then we'll just do a... We'll juke them. Like that. Oh, there's one there. Ah, oh, he's missed. Right, let's get out of here. So we've got the valve. Let's head back to the basement. No point wasting bullets on them. Hang on. I'm saying I'm not wasting bullets on them. Why well, aren't these doors open now? Oh my god, just die. You dead? You are now. Yeah, these. No, they're not. I thought these would have been open. They might be. Not. What's this? Why is there loads of stuff here? Okay. Get back out of here. So that was like a waste of a bullet, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought them doors might have opened something new. Clearly not. Not to worry. Let's go and put this valve in and see what happens. It's going to open something because it's got to get us to the maternity ward. So if you enjoyed this gameplay so far, then please remember to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment as well, let me know you've enjoyed it. And it won't hurt if you hit the sub button, helps the channel out a lot. Thank you very much. There's a lot of running back and forth on this one, but I guess because this is like my first time playing it, and if I do it the second time, at least I'll know where to go. Right, so we need to head all the way back down. See, we're in this bit now, it says the maternity ward's in here, but I don't know how I get in there, unless it's like down there. We're heading to the basement and I'm going to put the valve on. I would like to save my magnum ammo. Like boss fight. There was like a boss in here, he's disappeared now. We killed him, like he was he's one of them like fast ones, like the bigger versions of the zombies. Where it takes three off four shotgun shells to kill him. Right, so let's go in here. I don't know what the valve's gonna do. Uh I don't know what this does. So I'll put the valve on there. Okay. And now what we need to do. Turn this, what's this doing? Ah, oh, this one's going up. You probably notice it's got a, a skip button. We can actually skip these. So we don't have to do it. Is that gonna work? There we go. Let's put the sprinkler system on. So where's that? Ah, that's the... I know where we are, right. I know where it is. 
that's at the very start. That's why we can't find the maternity ward. It's where the the explosion happened. Oh, we've got music now. You know what's going to happen, don't you? I don't think there's nothing going to happen in this bit. Oh, I've got one of them big guys. Tim again. <laughs> Look at him. Right. I don't think we need to kill him. He's going to come back alive, but whatever. There he is. Luckily, they don't... Well, they do follow you, I think. Is he following us? Yeah, he is. <laughs> but at least we don't have to physically kill him. Because in the Sandcastle one, the, the newest one, the 1994, dear mare, you had to basically kill every single enemy to progress. You couldn't just run away. It's a bit annoying. Right, so we're going this way now. We finally got there. Some of this might have been edited out, by the way, because it might have, have took me a while to figure out where to go. And the bit what I did edit out was when we were first looking for the intensive care unit. And then I found the valve. Right, anything decent in here? There's a door there. Someone over there. I think it just takes three bullets for these. There better be something over here. What we can grab. It's so dark. Mental drops. Is that all? What's in? We can combine stuff. But it's a bit strange. what to do combine I don't know what it is I'm just combining everything just to <laughs> get infantry space basically ah bullets shit what's that oh my god Was that, like, necessary? Just want to get my shotgun up and ready. Oh, balloons there. Well, there's all the little babies. In there. Clearly there's no baby in there. Well, whatever. Ah, what's this? Bullets. I'm not going to say no to bullets. Magnum ammo, free. We do have some. Oh, it's seven. Why is it seven? We do have some Magnum ammo in our like save file. Hello. Yes. Did we open this? Yeah, we did. I wonder where he came from. This open? Nope. Missed. Oh well. I'm not going to complain if she's gone down once. Right, this is getting a bit scary now because why the hell is it what's happened here oh it's done like a silent hill thing definitely like a silent hill it's giving me loads of bullets and i don't really like that and i can't see what i'm doing it's like transitioning isn't it i'm getting my shotgun out me something's gonna happen This is so free. Shit! Go through here. No. This. This is the place.
place where I was born. So bloody dark. That's right, put one of them there. Blow him up. He's not going to be dead. Is he dead? He is now. Um, the door there. I think I'm going the right way. <laughs> zombie over there. I will kill this zombie because it's going to follow us, isn't it? Three bullets and you're dead. You should be. Bullets, that loom. Infantry full, that's just a snack bar. Um, how do I use that? Can't. I'll use that and pick that up. At least we've got some health there. I am playing on the controller, so you might hear the actual controller clicking down again. Try to reduce the volume by adjusting the microphone settings, but it's just the Xbox control. It's so, so clicky. Like it's it's nice to press and stuff, but it's just a bit. It's not as quiet as you would want it to do. Uh, two five one was it? This one? No. Oh, was this? Oh, the maternity ward. That was four three four, wasn't it? We found that in the garden. There we go. Hopefully, bullets. What's that? Oh, it's bullets. Um, I don't want to miss anything. Can we combine anything? No, we can't. But override cables. What? What are these bullets here? Nine mil. Um, if I do that, we got room now to do. <laughs> now, there's something over there. Oh, I can hear a door. Can you hear that noise? There's a door around here somewhere. Is it here? There it is. Right, so we've found that. Go in here first. I don't know why it's just starting to show up. These. Oh. What the hell? Yeah, you can pop the balloons. Right, go in here again. There'll be a save point. Infantry full again. Again, grab the documents. It's the letter. Doc, it's me. Sorry, but your colleague didn't make it. I found him, but was too late to... Mr. Walker, don't dwell on useless chatter. Just check the status of the computer equipment in the room. Did Dr. Kimball complete his work? The screen for the terminal display... What? Listen, Doc. I am done playing your fucking dirty little games. All I've been doing this whole time is implicating myself in whatever the hell crimes you've committed here by erasing evidence. I do not take kindly to being blackmailed by weirdo fucks in puffy white coats, and I ain't your damn puppet! My role as your accomplice in this fucked up horror tale ends now. I'm heading your way, Doc. And when I get there, you'll do well to give me exactly what I risked my ass for in this godforsaken labyrinth. Get back to the doctor again. It's not going to be easy, is it? There's going to be... Oh, what's this? I 
and he's gonna escape. I do not know where that is, by the way. I think this calls for a magnum. I don't know where that bloke was, so I'm sure we're gonna encounter him on the way. What's wrong? Answer me! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck. Unless that bloke was in the room with him. I need to run all the way back here now. Bullets. Happily take bullets. Someone's going to jump out, I know it. Because you heard it as well. Oh, shit. An acid spitter. Die. Die. Ow. So, four shotgun shells. It takes for them to die. If you keep your finger on exit reloads all the bullets but if you just press it once it actually just does it reloads one bullet run all the way back I was going to say like improvements on this game that could have made the infantry a bit more better like the Resident Evil's remake But then don't forget this was the very first game that they made and in the second one the infantry was it was alright. Right, so we're heading back to the doctor now. And clearly there is a big bad guy in it. It's probably got the same genome as the as that bloke, the Sandman, as we called him. Yep, so he's dead. What was that? At the start of this level, the Sandman actually killed our main character, the character we started off with. Infantry full, yeah. Infantry full again. Use a health kit. Escape the hospital through the morgue. Where's the morgue? I'm sure that it was the elevator key. I don't know where the morgue will be. Right, so the morgue, I think it's this way through the elevator. There we go, parking and morgue. Quick, quick, quick. I need someone, quick. <laughs> I don't want to fight that. Oh, this other bloke's going to be down here because we didn't kill him, did we? The big guy. I hope we don't need to use four shotgun shells on him again because that's just going to be a waste. I don't like the sound of this. I don't know where he is. Oh shit! He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Go, 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 go. Open the door, open the door. Oh, he's got us. He's come through. Die. <laughs> Hopefully, he's not going to come back alive. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh, that was a fake one. Not to worry. At least we've got some... Oh, that's blown up now. Oh, that's him. 
up in there. Morg key used. What would normally say elevator key, but whatever. We should be coming up towards the end of the chapter. Is this is chapter two still? I've been on it for quite a while. What the hell? Oh, you fake. I got an achievement then as well. Shoot five false enemies. <laughs> Three bullets in the head. Should do the trick. Be happening, not again. What's this? Oh, a hacking device. What time we've had one of these? Oh, missed. Huh? Yeah. What? How did I miss that? That's something not. Something not right there. I'm, I got that spawn. Energy bar. And another tape recorder. Oh my god. Why is there a lot of zombies? this. Oh, I thought that was a padlock door then. Oh, there you go. Chapter 2 complete. Emergency. Shit, the radio's out. With one disastrous move away from oh, checkmate, damn that lead. an unexpected That's hand a reached out. Thing. A forgotten player would make their triumphant return to the game. I just hope the Major's still alive. We should find a way to contact him. He must be alive. Alright, so it looks like we've got a brand new character again. So, we're going to leave this one here. This is chapter 3. If you enjoyed this, then please remember to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment as well, and I shall see you all in the next one.